Let's get to it. All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa Babel, Mesa Fail, back at it with some Destiny. So, got a number of things I want to talk about, uh, about the Iron Banner. I want to go over my class setup and what I plan to do. I'm probably just going to play Iron Banner on one character this week because I want to do a lot of raiding. And I want to talk to you about um, maybe why you should... You don't have to sweat the Iron Banner right away. Uh, I'd maybe wait until Saturday, Sunday, Monday, to be frank. Um, well, actually, okay, you know, I'm going to babble through this. Let's talk about a couple things. First off, when the Iron Banner hits, okay, uh, you no longer have to go to Lord Garden Saladin to buy the Tempered Buffs, okay? It's going to be applied automatically. Now, I'm going to type this text on screen for you guys, but the way the buffs work, and um, guys, this is redundant. I have a lot of new subscribers since the last Iron Banner. And uh, I just want to go over it. So, the Tempered Buffs, okay, is basically anything you do. You win a game, you turn in a bounty, anything, you're going to get a buff Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. On Tuesday, it's 10%. Wednesday, 13%. Thursday, 25 Friday, 40%, Saturday, 60%, Sunday, 100%, and Monday, 150%. So don't sweat it if you can't play until the weekend. Another big reason, and this is not to sound silly, well, it's going to sound silly. Friday, everyone's going to leave Iron Banner to go play Trials. What does that mean? The best players, the snipers, they're all going to go over to Trials. Uh, another thing I always recommend is play Iron Banner solo, okay? Uh, I find that when I play Iron Banner solo, I run into a lot less lag and a lot less full parties. doesn't always work all the time, but it does help. Another thing, okay, before I get into my class setup, take this into consideration, okay? Um, you get a 33% buff if you've got the shader. So I got my old shader. Uh, where's my emblem? There's my emblem. But... On the class item, so that's the first thing you want to grind for is whatever class item he sells because the old Iron Banner class item I had was 170 defense. That's not going to cut it because remember, power does matter. So this is my uh, Void Walker setup and you can see the most I can make it to is like 303 with what I want to use just in terms of gear, maybe 302. And that's why, you know, I talked to Dado. I was hoping uh, someone would make a video like really explaining what's the difference between, let's say, if someone's using the same weapon, same gear, same setup, one person is 305, one person is 302. What's the real difference in terms of damage they can dish out or damage that they can receive? So uh, I'm probably going to grind the first couple days just to get the class item, but I hope the class item is not 280, which is probably going to be. So um, I don't know. I was, I was tweeting with Bungie Informer tonight. Hoping that the end, well, Trials is probably going to have 300 plus gear. I bet Lord Garnet Saladin's only going to sell 280 type gear. So, all right, with that being said, so I'll put all that stuff on screen. Uh, let's go through what I'm going to be doing. So, I'm pretty much going Voidwalker and maybe Stormcaller a couple times, but I love my Blink. I still worship my Voidfang Vestments because I spawn in with uh, Nate Energy. I get those enhanced Axiom Bolts. I can carry more Sniper or uh, more Auto Rifle Ammo. Probably going to go Auto Rifle Ammo even though I don't know what I'm using just yet. We'll get into that in a second. But I'm going to use Void Armor because uh, that's going to help with those pesky uh, Night Stalkers shooting those bows at me a little bit. Uh, as for gauntlets, uh, gone are the days where I had a gauntlet for every type of reload. I really have to go with what is going to give me the highest light. If I change to any of these other ones, my light value drops down a little bit. So I'm going to stick with the 310. As for my helmet, not much I could do really here. I've got, let's see what I got. Inverse Shadow. Now, this is all just for PvE type stuff. I got a new helmet from the Crucible, Crucible the other day. What's it got? Inverse Shadow. Heavy lifting gain. No, that's all just PVE type stuff. So this is pretty much what I'm rolling with. And I've got boots that give me more uh, machine gun ammo, right? Yeah, machine gun ammo or sniper. Yeah. So for weapon wise, okay, I'm going to go with uh, Ruin, Ruin Wake. I absolutely love this thing. It's kind of like a Yolder's Hammer. Very, very high impact. Very Well, range isn't that great, but I don't know. This thing with range finder, it just downs people really, really quickly. Uh, going with my new Fell Winter's Lie, Conspiracy Theory. I don't need shot package. Um, this one's pretty good. It's got range finder and rifled barrel. Uh, performance bonus, eh, doesn't really help uh, that too much. Now, here's here's where it gets a little tricky, okay? See, if I go with my favorite weapon, which is the Villainy, I drop down to 302. Now, is that going to make a big fucking difference, pardon my French, uh, whether I'm 302 or if I'm 303? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Uh, if any of you guys have any comments, please leave it in the comment section what you guys think. But ideally, I want to use my pulse rifle. Uh, I'm probably going to use Jade Rabbit a bit. Uh, I do have a lot of luck with that thing. I want to use my Hawk Moon, but it's only 298 attack. See, that, see, that's what I really want to know, man. What's the big difference between if I use a 298 attack or a 310? Is it going to be that much of a difference? I don't know. We'll find out. I want to use my Red Death, but that's only 300 attack. You know, so I got my Suros. That's 310, but uh, I don't know. Lately, it's Villainy, 
Jade Rabbit, sometimes the uh, Supercell, but for the most part, it's going to always be the Villainy. But I'm just worried about the fact that it brings me down to 302 light. So, anyway, kind of a babbling video, but just wanted to give you the tempered buffs and kind of um, talk you through what class I'm going to be going through because I'm probably not going to be doing my other characters because I want to get, well, I'm going to be raiding on all three characters because I want to get gear to infuse into my primaries. But the problem is, the last two weeks, I can't get any primaries to drop. Freaking Oryx keeps giving me this damn shotgun, and I like the shotgun, but um, I really want primaries to infuse in things like uh, Hawk Moon, my Red Death, so I could take them into Iron Banner, and that's it. So, anyway, guys, hope you like this video. I like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Zit Twitter at MacyJohn. Check out my stream. All links will be in the description. That's it. I'm out of here. Like Vladimir.